Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Gottlieb from Gottlieb Tennis and USPTA Tennis Professional. Uh, so right now it's January, as you can see the nets are down. Uh, and this month I'm going to uh, talk to you guys and coaching you guys of how can you practice uh, when the nets are down, unfortunately. Um, obviously you can may hear the friend if, they're, if it's open, pretend like there's a fence or put some tape up or something. Uh, but I'm going to be talking to you guys this month about uh, using a wall mainly uh, for your training. Uh, so if you're lucky enough to have a wall in your community, great. It's a fantastic uh, hitting partner. Uh, so number one, when you're using the wall, is why I see a lot from people just uh, people using a wall is they think they're getting a lot of good reps in with their tennis and what's happening is that they're just wailing at the ball and swinging with their wrist and really just kind of slapping at the ball and it's really wristy and they think uh, that's improving their game because the ball's going super fast and it's like really flat and it looks like the professionals uh, but what they don't know is that probably if they're hitting an actual tennis court with a partner the ball's probably going way out or going to the net and it's probably going in like two out of ten times maybe and it just, it just looks really good like a highlight film but they're not being really consistent uh, number two is that using a wall is fantastic because the wall literally always beats you. Um, when you're hitting against the wall, the ball always comes back at you. And that's one of the greatest lessons that my dad taught me was that it always beats you. So if you're looking for a good hitting partner, somebody that can always beat you, use the wall. <laughs> uh, number three is that the, your focus on the ball and your footwork is going to drastically improve if you hit against the wall. Because the balls always come back at you. Um, pretty quickly, especially if you put a little bit of pace on it. So you need to make sure you have, you have good adjustment steps. Um, but it does start with your eyes and your vision, and then your feet will follow. Uh, so using a wall will really, really drastically improve uh, that part of your game as well. Um, so if, again, I hope these quick tips help you out with you using the wall to help your ground strokes. So if you're looking to improve your game, you can text me at 774-328-6736. All right, talk soon. Bye.